it's hard to believe that coffee, tea, and soda are the only drinks available here along Washington Avenue in this West Racine neighborhood. But after more than 100 years, that's changing. There will be a kitchen? Yes. Okay. It'll be a small grill at the bar. John Dunk bought this old empty storefront. It used to be a bakery until the uh, late 60s. This is a very, very heavy Danish area. He's transforming it into the first bar this neighborhood's ever had. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? But this area isn't exactly thriving when it comes to new business. Why invest in this area in terms of a bar? Well, it's a wonderful area. It's a, it's a neighborhood that's been fairly vibrant in its, in its uh, citizenship, and there's a need here. Neil Wilson owns Wilson's Coffee and Tea down the street. You're happy someone else is coming to the area. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I'd, ra I'd much rather have a bar, a nice social establishment than, say, you know, a payday loan store or something like that. Having more reasons to come into West Racine is, I think, a good thing for everybody. But some take pride in the fact that this neighborhood is one of the only left in the country without any bars. Not having bars here was a unique and interesting and great idea. And I, I think we have enough bars in town and people don't need another place to go and drink. Overall, there's been a lot of support for the addition of a bar in this neighborhood. It's already been approved by public safety and licensing, and it's expected to get the full approval of the Racine Common Council in just a few days. Reporting in Racine, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4.